Okay, in this presentation, we are going to look at reliability analysis, which is to say survival functions. Now, it has some sort of relationship with survival analysis, which is what actuarial students might study. But reliability analysis is used more by engineering and technology students. Anyway, suppose that the useful lifetime in months of a device is modeled by the cumulative distribution function. Okay. And that is f of x equals 1 minus 1 minus x over 120 to the power of 1 half. Okay. So for 0, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 120. So this is an important set of numbers there, the range of possible values. So, so the lifetimes are between 0 and 120. Calculate the expected useful lifetime of a brand new device and calculate the variance of a the lifetime of a such a device. Okay. Now, so here we go. Let's get started. This is a bit of theory here. Okay. So what's in the box there is essentially revision of lecture notes. Okay. So don't write this in. Make some sort of reference to it, but this is, you know, the full version. Let the lifetime t be a continuous random variable with cumulative distribution function f of t on the interval 0 to infinity. So just watch that, you know, that we are going to change that to 0 to 120. Its survival function or reliability function is s of t equals a probability, a probability of capital T greater than t, capital T being the variable name, here it's lifetimes, and t being some, small t being some specific value. And that is the integral from t to infinity. Now that's important there, that little lowercase t there as the lower bound of integration. f of u du, that's the probability density function denominated in terms of another variable u. So when you uh, apply the definite integral, it turns into a function of t, which is what we want. And that is equal to 1 minus f of t. So essentially, s of t uh, is the complement of f of t, okay, one minus the other, okay. The expected survival time e of t equals zero, the integral from zero to infinity of s of t dt. So just as a quick remark, this this line here does not follow from what's above it. I just put that in almost as a sort of second paragraph. So sort of the bullet point. So there isn't a an, an immediate succession from one line to the next there. It's a bit of a, you know, two separate sort of points. So anyway, note that the survival function is s of x equals one minus x over 120 to the power of one half, okay? So just actually, you notice that one minus there, okay? So essentially what we're looking at is this part here. That's s of t there, okay? So, this is a straightforward integration. So, so essentially what we're going to do there is we have s of x in this case, okay, dx, okay. Uh, the integral is from zero to infinity, or say zero to 120, okay. Now the answer works out to be 80, okay. But I felt here I was being a little bit too quick. So I put in these little notes about how I got there. So I sort of added some thoughts in after the fact. So essentially what we're going to do here is use u substitution. So we're going to let u equals 1 minus x divided by 120. And therefore du dx, differentiating, that is equal to minus 1 over 120. Okay. And essentially we arrange that and we get dx equal to minus 120 times du. So when we carry out our u substitution, first off, let one, let one minus x divided by 120, let that equal to u. Then we change du, or dx into minus 120 du. Straightforward enough uh, integration. Okay, minus 120 times u to the power of three over two divided by three over two. So minus 120 divided by three divided by two, that works out to be 80. Uh, minus 80 times u to the power of three over two. Okay, so that's where we pick up there, minus 80 
times 1 minus x divided by 120 to the power of 3 over 2 evaluated between 120 and 0 or 0 and 120 okay so essentially what we do is we let uh, x equals 120 and we get 1 minus 120 divided by minus 120 0 0 to the power of 3 over 2 is 0 and then 1 minus 0 divided by 120 that is essentially 1 1 to the power of 3 over 2 minus 1 okay so we have minus 80 times 0 minus 1 that is minus 80 times minus 1 and therefore the answer there is 80. So I'm just going to reset a second and we'll have a go at the variance. A very important part of the calculation here depends on the moments of a survival function. And I'm not going to do it in great detail here because it's the type of thing you probably should do in parallel. Actually, I should think I should have that as t. E to the top power, e of t to the power of k is the integral from zero to infinity of t to the power of k uh, times the probability density function f of t dt. Now, this is a general form of the moments of a random variable distribution, okay? So, I won't go through it there because there's a lot to do, but actually, just to sort of quick remark, it ends up like this. And this is a very important expression here. Now, down here, it's in terms of dr, okay? So let's just, when you say r here, just think of it as x or t in the question. I think we're using, yeah, we're using x in the question. Now, the, the moment, uh, the index of the moments will be 1, 2, 3, and so on. So the second moment will be k equals 2, okay? So 2 times r to the power of 2 minus 1 is 2 times r okay and that's the survival function there dr in the first instance when k is equal to one at the first moment k one times r to the power of one minus one so that's just one okay so substitution uh yeah okay that's grand so essentially that's a very important definition there i'm going to just i'm uh, just mentioning it mentioning it just so that you know that this doesn't come out of nowhere okay this is the how we calculate the variance. We're going to use this expression here, but just to sort of remark that I'm not just making these uh, numbers up. Where did this 2t come from? It's very similar to the last one. Why was there no t in the expected value of t? There's a reason for it here. k is equal to 2. So uh, k times t to the power of to the power of k minus 1 is 2 times t. Okay. So that's, uh, that's as much as we'll say on that. Now, I'm going to use the method of substitution again, okay? And there we have it there. e to the power of x squared. Sorry, just to sort of be for the sake of clarity, that's just a general formula, okay? That's a general expression. x is what I'm denominating my question as, so we'll just go with x. The expected value of x squared is the integral from 0 to 120 of 2x times 1 minus x divided by 120 to the power of a half dx. So again, u is equal to 1 minus x over 120. Okay, same as before. That's why I'm being very quick about it. Just as a quick remark, though, uh, I'm going to sort of be a little bit raise the stakes here a bit if i was to let x equal to 120 what does that make u okay would make u equal to zero and if x is zero that means u is equal to one okay so just as a quick remark, I sort of leave that out. Usually, uh, I, I'm very taking in baby steps, but here I've actually put it in the integral from one to zero of two times 120 times one minus u times u to the power of half times 120. Uh, uh, here what I do here is just we just change the sign a bit so we drop one of the signs so we have the integral of 0 to 1 
of 2,880, sorry, 28,800 times that expression there. Essentially, you can follow the drift there, okay? It actually works out to be 7,680, okay? That's the expected value of x squared. And so we calculate the variance now. You should be fairly familiar with this expression at this stage. The expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x to be squared, 7,680 uh, minus 80 squared, which is 6,400. And that gives you an answer there of 1,280, okay? So that's grand, we'll leave that there.